Hi guys, Darth Deuce here, back in the Star Wars Advantage Collection figure review. Today, taking a look at another pretty recent release, we've got the Artillery Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. A figure that I have definitely been looking forward to. Um, they did this figure in the Black Series a year ago, maybe. Uh, maybe even two years ago, I can't remember. Um, but they made it an Amazon exclusive. And uh, Amazon Canada is always weird with their exclusives. Sometimes they're easy to get and they're put up right away. Other times they're not. For whatever reason, this one was not easy. Uh, if this ever went up for retail price, I never saw it for retail price. Um, so I never got the opportunity to get the Black Series one. If I ever can track it down, I will. But uh, I'm glad to be able to get a version of him regardless um, in TBC here. So taking a look at the packaging first. Um, really nice card back, actually. I really like the image here that they have for the Artillery Stormtrooper. I think it looks really good. So I think if you're a Minton card collector, this is a cool one to have. Um, disregard the little bit of sticker that didn't peel away. Had a, I got this off Amazon and it had a barcode sticker on it, which kind of sucks. Um, but luckily I'm opening it, so it doesn't matter. But you get the figure inside. Really nice uh, card back there. On the back, you've got your legalese and all that. And other figures available. I've reviewed Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, Cal Kestis, Cassian already. Uh, not sure if I'll ever get Vel. Um, maybe get her if I ever find her on a uh, discount, but I don't know if I'll end up picking her up. Probably get the Raider eventually. I don't know when. It's not high priority, but I'll probably get eventually and definitely will be getting Luke at some point. Um, he has been the most difficult one to track down out of the bunch so far of the new wave. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. So I'm going to take this guy out and we'll take a closer look. Now the figure out of the packaging. None of his accessories on or anything like that. And pretty cool figure. Um, I mean, if you've owned any of the previous uh, newer Stormtrooper figures, you pretty much know what you're getting here. Um, it's pretty much the same, just repainted and a few new accessories, but that's all it needed to be. Um, definitely got some small gripes, but overall, really great release. Uh, taking a closer look, it is pretty much the incinerator Stormtrooper just with yellow markings and not the flamethrower backpack. Um, head sculpt, helmet sculpt looks great. Looks really good. All the paint apps are pretty cleanly applied for the most part. The mouth uh, piece looks good. The yellow markings have very uh, subtle weathering battle damage that actually comes up better on the camera than it does in person. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. I like that it looks a lot. We don't usually get a whole lot of... We really don't get any uh, Storm True with the yellow markings. I can't think of any off the top of my head. So it's pretty cool. Kind of unique. Uh, Trooper, Stormtrooper to have on the shelf with the other Stormtroopers. It has a pauldron, yellow pauldron looks good. Um, if you pop the head off, you could probably take that off if you wanted to. And just the yellow markings continuing. Got some nice gray details on the midsection there. Hole for the backpack. So the torso piece might actually be a new mold because I cannot recall if there's another Stormtrooper that has this uh, style of uh, hole in the back. But I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. More of those yellow markings. I do appreciate they actually painted this spot at the ankles black. Sometimes uh, they just leave that white, but it is supposed to be painted black for the undersuit, so I do like that uh, attention to detail there. Black on the soles of the boots as well. Um, yeah, just a good looking figure. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> it's uh, the same Stormtrooper mold we've seen plenty of times, just some, with some new paint apps. But it looks good. I like it a lot. The yellow is quite striking. It looks nice. Articulation-wise, again, pretty much everything you'd expect. Dumbbell joint in the neck, which is a bit limited by the pauldron here, and just the fact that it's a helmet. Oh, popped off. But yeah, you can see you can take the pauldron off if you wanted to. Pop that back on, you know, rotation. A little bit of up and down, nothing too crazy. A little bit of pivot, nothing too crazy there. Hinges at the shoulders, move all the way out. They rotate. Single hinges at the elbows, move about 90 degrees. Swivels at the wrists as well as hinge. You get the up and down vertical hinge on the right trigger for your hand and then in and out on the left hand. Uh, joint at the torso gets pretty decent forward, back, pivot, and rotation. Old style hip hinges. This is probably my one biggest complaint with this figure is um, I wish they would upgrade the Stormtrooper mold to have uh, the new hip joints. I think that's the last thing they need to do to have the truly ultimate three and two quarter inch Stormtrooper. Once they include those new hip joints instead of these old swivel hinges uh, we'll have our ideal uh, three and a quarter inch stormtrooper and i feel like they won't have to make another mold anytime soon 
but they still pose good. It's just a little more finicky to deal with. Silver cuts at the thigh, single hinges at the knees that move 90, hinges at the ankles go up, down, and then have the pivot like the newer um, Deluxe Inferno, or Incinerator Stormtrooper, rather. And in terms of accessories, he comes with quite a bit of stuff. Um, you do get backpack, has some nice uh, little yellow detail and sculpted detail there. Um, got some grenades sculpted on the side. And that just pegs into the backpack, or the back, very easily. It looks pretty good. You also get four identical of these explosives. They look like the ones that are on the backs of Stormtroopers' belts which I think was always a nice little detail. Um, actually seeing these in use as explosives in the in live action. Um, they can be clipped in to the backpack for storage. All of them store in the back. Like so. Uh, there's four though. Because he also does come with, of course, he's got to come with the artillery. So you do get the mortar, which I think is super cool. New molded piece, as far as I'm aware. No paint, but nice sculpted detail. A few different pieces there. You've got the main mortar. You've got the base here, which is on a ball joint. And you've got the bipod that is also on a ball joint. So you can articulate that and kind of get it in a few different angles. And it can sit down just fine. And then you can take the explosive there. And you can actually put that into the gun. So that's pretty cool. And then they do also include a normal uh, E11 blaster rifle. So if you don't want the uh, trooper manning the artillery, you can just have them with a blaster, which I'm glad that they give you this option. It is nice. Um, he holds that in the right hand with the trigger finger uh, just fine. You can get two po hand poses. No problem as well with the articulation. Shouldn't be an issue getting most of the poses that you want out of that. And that looks pretty cool. But of course, most people will probably do slaying them, manning the artillery here. Um, I don't want to do this. Because you do kind of want to give him holding. Can't hold it, and the left hand is probably the, your best bet for him holding that. And then you can kind of get him, like, knelt, kneel knelt down, the can't speak. Something like, you'll have to fin it, fin it, finagle with it a bit maybe. But uh, it is doable. I'm just trying to spend a whole lot of time messing with it right now. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, so there you go, you can have him. Man in the Mortar, which I think is super cool. But overall, I think this is a really great release, honestly. Um, obviously, it's a lot of reuse, but I think it's obviously really use that makes sense. Um, it's what I expected, and I think the figure itself, Paint Apps, uh, came out really nicely. Pretty unique looking trooper in terms of colors with the Stormtrooper. Um, and it comes with a lot of accessories as well. As well. Uh, removable backpack, blaster rifle, the mortar, which is multiple pieces, and individual four individually removable uh, grenades. Um, it's a fair amount of accessories for a standard release. I'm glad they didn't try to make this a deluxe or anything like that. So that's really cool. Um, and the uh, accessories are just some pretty cool weapons. Like We don't usually see Star Wars characters with mortars, so that's super cool. I uh, don't really have too much to compare to. Um, I would compare it with the Incinerator Stormtrooper, but uh, I'll be honest, I was too lazy to get that off my display. But uh, here he is with the Remnant Stormtrooper, so you can just take a look at what he looks like with another trooper. And he'll look really good with all your other Imperial Stormtroopers and forces and whatnot. So, very cool figure, cool army builder, definitely one you can get a few of if you want to. I'm probably just going to stick with the one, um, but great figure if you're a fan of the Mandalorian. If you're a fan of collecting different types of stormtroopers and building up your stormtrooper imperial army, then highly recommend picking this one up. A very good figure um, and definitely worth it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one. May the Force be with you.